When it's time to put your towing system to the test, nobody does it better than Ditch Hitch. On one end, we have the unstoppable D8 Caterpillar. In the middle, our Demo Days test vehicle. And on the other end, the mighty Earth Mover. And I'll put that level on there and I'll get this adjusted perfect. So when this does tighten up, it'll be level. A custom test shank has been made to measure for the D8. Attached is the dynameter, a special device designed to measure the strength of each pull. All it is is just a hollow piece of metal and on the outside or in the inside of this is uh, four strain gauges and a strain gauge, the only thing a strain gauge does is me measure metal deflection. So you'll never, think, you know, you'll never see this load cell move, you'll never see it um, stretch. Um, but what is actually happening is the tensile strength of the metal is actually changing slightly which is recorded by the strain gauges which is then calculated and um, sent digitally um, to the handheld remote. The ditch hitch is quickly assembled and attached to the test vehicle. While a 16,000 pound 2 inch untreated white test strap is rolled out to be used as our tow line. We'll do a tension one, so we'll tighten it up, and we'll do a pull, and then the second one will be a good jerk on it again. The first series of tugs shows the ditch hitch and the two inch untreated white strap holding up nicely from the static pull, a small jerk, and from the four foot run. But when the truck is turned around and then rolls back beyond the four foot range, this strap lets go at the seams. Notice how easily the two inch strap breaks with no fine parts or major whipping action. These tow straps have no dangerous metal brackets, steel couplings, chains, or cables. So when the system fails, all you end up with is frayed cloth. The strap is rated for 18,000 pounds. So we obviously went past the 18,000 pounds because we broke the strap. It didn't do a peak hold because it's, it's got a half a second. It got to have a, a one second hold. Uh, hold. And we only had like a half a second, so it didn't, it didn't do the peak reading. It didn't hold it. Previous tests have indicated that the two inch untreated white straps are capable of withstanding tows of up to 19,000 pounds. But today's demonstration clearly shows that the untreated straps will fail between a minimum 16,000 and 19,000 pounds. Like it's level. To emphasize this point, we now employ the power of our D8 Caterpillar and roll forward to bring the strap tight and then slowly inch forward to measure the two inch strap's exact breaking point. True to the untreated strap specifications, the white two inch toe strap snaps at exactly 16,000 pounds. Again, no deadly flying parts, just frayed material, and a successful measurement on toe strength. So, with two white straps shredded, it's time to ramp up our demo days a bit, and to do so, we now roll out the 25,000 pound red straps. This cap's really heavy. As you're about to see, this is where many would-be towers often run into a whole lot of trouble. Some of the hazards I identified uh, mechanical, we're gonna have flying objects, so uh, um, upon the failure of the equipment, so we wanna make sure we everybody stays out of the line of fire. We've got this red over here. There should be nobody in there other than that's operating the equipment. 
or doing the hookups, eh? Yes. Yeah. We know the ditch hitch isn't going to fail, but we want to test our equipment and see uh, see what it takes to pull it off the vehicles. So we know that uh, we've got a, a weak point somewhere and we don't want it to be our assembly. No. With the ditch hitch in place and the 25,000 pound strap attached, it's time to once again vacate the danger zone. With a slow and steady tow from the dozer, the dynameter starts to roll well into the 20,000 pound range. The hitch is rated for 9,000 pounds. It actually ripped the hitch right off the truck. The bolts were still holding. We thought the bolts were gonna be the, the weak point. So it actually did its job by breaking when it did. I wish it would've been higher. I was thinking we were gonna get 30,000 on it, but. That was too much to hope for. But anyway, it's all good. It's all about safety. We're going to save lives with this information, so it's great. I can't believe that it broke in the three places, actually, because it broke here, and it broke on each of the ends. I was fully expecting the bolts to break, not the weldment. With the bolts still in place, but the receiver in ruins, it is apparent the 25,000 pound safety red strap is too much of a match for this type of towing application. It must be noted, however, that this is an extreme test of this system, and the odds of finding a truck stuck to this level are virtually non-existent. Time to flip bumpers, turn our test truck around, and present the other receiver. Once again, the ditch hitch is easily assembled and the 25,000 pound safety tow strap attached. The straw bales are put back in place to absorb some of the blow. And the Catman moves his dozer forward. Hitch is rated for 10,000 pounds. It broke at 24.5. It's doing its job again. Uh, I think, yeah, everybody was surprised at where the hitch failed. We expected it to fail, but uh, the thought was was it was going to be failing at the bolts. And when it failed in around the welds, that was uh, kind of surprising to everybody. So uh, I guess that's uh, learned something new again today. Once again, receiver failure on our test vehicle has prevented any structural damage to the frame of the truck. Although it's cheaper to replace broken tow straps, what this demonstration also shows is the incredible strength and durability of the ditch hitch. Okay. See the mark on it. Absolutely. Yep. So you've got the right hitch for your application. We just got the wrong straps. I was very impressed with the ditch hitch. Um, I I wasn't surprised to see the truck come apart because they're they're a solid hitch for a pickup truck, but. Um, I think it turned out the way I had expected today. With our test truck now out of commission, it's time for one last major demonstration. This time, it's the unstoppable D8 CAD going head to head with the mighty earth mover. Did you rate that down? Yep. It looked like it had about two and a half feet of stretch there. I think this one was stronger because we couldn't get a reading it snapped so quick. It sounded oh. like a gunshot, didn't it? Yeah. What did you think of the demo today? 
I think it proves some things about uh, you know the forces that are involved with uh, the uh, towing and uh, vehicle recovery uh, situation, and so I think we learned a lot.